This is Twit. This is a very provocative article. We probably should have led with this in the New York Times uh, today about uh, a move from the Commerce Department. They're considering security restrictions on the export of artificial intelligence technologies. They don't want the Chinese to get a hold of our research, I guess. But according to the Times, Cade Metz writing uh, in San Francisco, a growing number of Silicon Valley insiders are worried that proposed export restrictions could actually short-circuit the preeminence of American companies in the next big thing to hit their industry, artificial intelligence. So this is actually under discussion right now. There's only a few days left to comment on this. I just uh, don't understand how they could do it. I mean, do you regulate the algorithms? Well, <sighs> they tried to do this with strong encryption, you remember, calling it yeah. munitions. Um, the Commerce Department is uh, has a January 10th deadline for public comment on AI export rules. Um, I guess I could go read the comments. And and what the, what Silicon Valley is worried about is a is exactly what you just said, which is you can't do anything about it anyway. They're not going to make these rules aren't making a difference, and they could harm companies in the U.S., help international competitors, and stifle technology improvements. So. Well, so that's why we need to know the how, because I mean theoretically. I mean, that's what everyone says when they're faced with these things. So I just automatically throw that out. I'm just like, but how would you do it? Because that would have the impact of, that would determine the impact. Right. Well, yeah. For instance, if you say, well, no American AI scientists can give papers outside the United States. But or you, you couldn't yeah, publish them? How, yeah. I mean. How do you contain it? Yeah, I mean, it's, well, hello. That's, this comes from, a, and, in August, Congress passed the Export Controls Act of 2018, which added export restrictions to emerging and foundational technologies. So basically you can give it away, you can't sell it? Well, we don't know. That's right, because we got to find out what these rules will be. They're, 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 we're still in the comment period. Well, and do you do things like, oh, you can't manufacture GPUs over there because that's how we train a lot of stuff? I mean, do you not have data sets that are available? I mean, there, there's different... Yeah. A lot of AI innovation is actually being done and made in public. The things that are private today is access to the underlying technology, which is highly commodified. So that's not a place to do it. The only other way to do it is access to the data sets. But the data sets just, that's not the innovative part. That's like access to steel so you can build a cool building when you're really trying to stop some style of architecture from escaping. Right. Federal regulations exempt publicly available information from export control. That means the government is unlikely to bar companies and universities from publishing fundamental AI research. But that would be it, a violation of, of First Amendment. But, yeah, well, I don't know. But it could establish controls that restrict foreign access to that information. How? So I don't know. How? Mm, I don't know. Oh, the, what what it might one thing that might do brought us national boundaries. The internet takes them away, right? And that's why we have nationalists going crazy because their their fundamental view of themselves is 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 challenged, and that's why you know who is trying to build a wall right. in a last futile attempt to hold on to a border. It's a nostalgia for any. Uh, uh, it is something that never really existed, but. Uh, a so that's what, that's what Harari talks about in his 21 Lessons, uh, is that nationalism doesn't have an answer for global problems like climate change and uh, <clears throat> AI and all of this stuff because it's nationalistic. This not, doesn't apply to a global world, you know, like the Internet. Yeah. Overly restrictive rules that prevent, here's one way they would do it, prevent foreign nationals from working on certain technologies in the United States could push those researchers and companies into other countries. Mm -hmm. It might be easier for people to just do this stuff in Europe, and which means they wouldn't do it in the U.S. Where they'd also have to worry about GDPR and be compliant there and have better right. business as a result. Move to China. <laughs> if you want to do AI research, move to China. Anything goes. Well, well.